everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a requested video which is a what's in my bag. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy and um, yeah, stick around. To start with, I'm going to explain about my bag. My bag is a Mulberry Leadbury bag, which is a smaller version of the really famous Bayswater. Um, and it was second hand to me, which is why it has this big old stain on it. But I have cleaned it up many a time, so it is a lot better than when I first got it. Um, it was a gift a few years ago, um, and I really, really love it, and I use it pretty much every day, unless I need a bigger bag for uni or whatever. But it is pretty jam-packed, because it is quite small, but um, I hold it and carry it like this in the crook of my arm. So that's generally how I hold my bag. But yeah, I'll get to it. So it has a little postman turn lock here, um, and you can do it like so. And this is everything that I have inside, so let's get started. So the first thing I have, which is quite big and takes up a lot of room, is my iPad. And by quite big, I mean relatively to the bag. Um, I have an iPad mini, which um, is here. And I use that, you know, if I go on a train journey, so when I go home from university, it takes me four hours on the train, so I'll download a few TV programs and watch them on here. So that's really useful to have. If not, when I go to uni, it's good for emails and things. Oh, and I forgot to say, the case, which is really kind of bog standard, um, like stand one, I don't know, like that. Um, I got that off Amazon for, I think, £6.99, so it's pretty good. I wanted a lime green uh, one, but they didn't, they delivered me a black one, so... Yeah, I don't really mind. Uh, next is a diary, which is a 2012 to 2013 um, diary, which is in Paper Chase. And I basically just keep all my um, to-do list and, you know, when I'm in at uni, my lectures and things and my deadlines. Um, but yeah, it's really useful. Um, but yeah, I need to get a new one because I'm very nearly through with it. Because it's sort of an academic one. I need to get a proper one now, which is scary. Next are my... Ray-Ban Wayfarers. I did used to keep them in the um, pack, the pack, the container, but um, that actually broke, which is a real shame, but I got these in the tortoise shell um, with the 3N lenses. I bought these three years ago and I still love them, like, loads. So yeah. Uh, next is my phone, which is a um, iPhone white 4S and my case is pink with little ears and little feet but no tail um, and this is from H&M and I think that was 3 dollars um, I have my purse which is a mulberry, I think it's called a French, either a French purse or a, a tri-fold, I'm not 100% sure but it's in the oak colour, um, same as my bag and I got this from my mum for Christmas two years ago maybe now but it's really lovely and it's got really soft after I've used it and I keep all my cards in there and receipts and train tickets and then not very much cash at all in there but yeah not very interesting um I have an envelope a packet of tissues really really helpful um oh here we go um a skittles uh packet that I've eaten my iPod, which is orange. I don't know even know what generation this is. Probably like a fifth generation. I don't know. But it's the one with the video camera on the back. But yeah, and a hair headphones, which I swap between my iPod, iPhone, and iPad. It's like an Apple store in my bag. That's weird. <laughs> um, I have my home keys with um, a library uh, fob thing that I can get books out with. A um, key ring from my... Uh, well, from the hotel I always stay in in Santorini, which is a Greek island, um, and we're like kind of, I'd say we're family friends, and he gave us a queuing from the hotel, which is really lovely. Um, it's in Kamari, if anyone's interested. Um, it's called the Arian Bay, and it's amazing. Uh, an A, because my name is Alice, my home keys, and a fob to get into work, or one of my works, anyway. <laughs> um, I have a pen. My uni keys, which I have a torch on. Oh, hang on, there we go. Uh, a Tesco club card fob, and then just my keys. Half of them, I don't know where they go to anyway. Um, a receipt for Tesco. Uh, the most exciting thing on there that I bought was, I bought this the other day. Um, I spent 14 pounds in Tesco. Yeah. I have a receipt for the View Cinema. Um, I think that was from the other day. I went to go see with my boyfriend um, The Place Beyond the Pines. It was a really good film. 
a voucher for Tesco, which is 48p off my next shop, so I'll keep that um, safe. Um, oh, a post-it note about when I did stock take at work. I don't need that anymore. Oh, Place Beyond the Pines uh, ticket stub. And again, Place Beyond the Pines. Um, a train ticket from when I went from here back home. A 10% off voucher for taxis in Portsmouth, which is where I am now. A KFC voucher pack. I don't know, I haven't even looked at it. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. A um, battery boost for my phone, and these are really good. I got this off eBay, and I think it was about two pounds. And what you do is you charge it at the bottom with your mains charger, like your ordinary one. And then if your phone is running out, like when you're out or on a train or whatever, you just pop this in, and you have to keep it in, which is a little bit annoying, but you just pop it in the end, and you have, I think it's 33% extra charge with it or something like that, but it's really good. So I keep that with me at all times, although it isn't charged because I used all of that last time I went home. Um, I have a USB stick, which is kind of patterned. I have another USB stick which has another <laughs> Santorini keyring from uh, Kivotos Gallery, I think it's called. I don't know. I have a Boots uh, number seven makeup and skincare voucher that I'm yet to use. I have a bus ticket. I have another View stub. I think it's from where I bought the drinks and popcorn. Um, another Tesco voucher. Save 35p when you buy any uh, King's Mill bread. Nice. Means it'll only be a pound. <laughs> um, I have. Oh, University Library. When I had, I had a fine of 10p just to say I paid it. A plaster. Oh, loads of receipts. Another uni receipt saying I returned a book. Um. Oh, uh. Taco Bell, I bought some Chiros, I think they're called. Yeah. Um, an Asda receipt, I bought. Oh, so we went to the. We had a barbecue, and so um, my, well, my house went to. Uh, my housemates went to um, Asda to buy barbecue things. Um, a plaster wrapper, a duck plaster, <laughs> another plaster wrapper, a lollipop stick, oh, an IKEA pencil. Don't worry, guys, we're getting there. <laughs> Um, Topshop stickers. Um, I bought my friend a um, Topshop voucher for her birthday and I got stickers left over. Three more pens. Two hairbands. <laughs> God, some Bongella. I don't know, that's for if you have like mouth ulcers or. I think that's when I had my wisdom teeth coming through, I was like eating Bongella. A wristband um, for a nightclub, I think. I don't take this bag to nightclubs, so I don't know. A broken elastic band. Four pence. A dolphin, silver dolphin pendant. Odd. Um, some concealer, natural collection concealer. And MAC lipstick in Impassioned. I don't know. <laughs> um, what else do we have here? A mini, a dairy milk mini egg. But not mini eggs, as in just a mini egg. Loads of pieces of paper, some paracetamol, and two Kirby grips. And apart from that, and two pieces of paper and a few crumbs, I'm empty. So yeah, this is the inside of my bag. Um, it was made in England. It's a vintage bag, and I have um, googled it and got on the purse forum, and it has been verified to me. Um, but it is pretty old, and yeah, so. If you guys are wondering, the best place to probably get one of these would be eBay. I have had a couple of people ask me, um, and I have seen a few on eBay, but not very many, because I, I think they're quite rare. Um, especially now, um, Mobbery has released the Mini Bays Water, which my mum actually has, which has a um, over-the-body crossbody strap, which is really lovely, and I love it, but I have my Lidbury. Um, but yeah. I really love it and it's a great bag, a great size for me. I'm only five foot three, so very big bags look a little bit silly on me, but I am saving up for a base water and it is on my list of things to get. So um yeah, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please um subscribe and comment and give me a little thumbs up and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!